Right, just a quick review of some of the words I had yesterday. This is a great word from the Lord. Persist in prayer. This is so stunning mathematically. Uh, I'm going to show you it. Okay, well, you can see it. But persist is father, son, and then in prayer is father, son. They are identical. Mathematically, they equal the same thing. This is a word from God. <laughs> persist in prayer, as the Bible says. But I'm here to reveal the glory, the mathematical perfection of English is always to the glory of the personal names of God. Pers persist in prayer is father, son, father, son. Now, I've highlighted even more glory in this word from the Lord, okay? The letters that are circled up there equal the letters that are circled in symmetry down here, the double I am. I am, I am, come together, double I am in the center there, okay? And then the word pray, which is 60, parallels joy, is equivalent to that symmetrical pair there, okay? So you have this stunning symmetrical uh, mathematical equivalence between the letters persist and in prayer. And in order, uh, the first revelation as written here is that persist is father, son in order, and then the follow-up word in prayer. Persist in what? In prayer, father, son. And then a follow-up bonus point if you say people are now persistent in prayers. Now you add the famous word nest which equals another father, and you are through the roof. Bonus points on the test, child, okay? Persistent in prayers. Say the people, we prophesy that the people will be persistent in prayers to the pleasure of God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son. We will be persistent in prayers. If you say persistent in our prayers, now you add the word love. Our Father who art in heaven, our Father equals love Father. Persistent in prayers to who? Father, okay? Oh, that's good. So, nest uh, equals father. The nest is in the tree. Okay, nest equals father. Tree equals son. The father is in the son, and the tree and the son is in the father. The nest is in the tree, and the tree is in the nest. We talked about that earlier. So there you go. Persistent in prayer is a stunning word from the Lord. Father, son, father, son. Persistent in prayers as an as a bonus father, and um, we walk through other glories. Okay, so I'm just going to reveal, and this, of course, comes from the very words of our Lord Jesus in the Gospel of Luke, talking about the persistent widow in prayer before the um, metaphorical judge, and uh, you can read that in the Gospel of Luke. Um, other words from the Lord, the joy of a messenger. Just look at the mathematical fives in that. The whole thing equals the great 105, a king joy number. Look at the, look at the three fives in symmetry. The joy of a messenger, an angel. Okay. Or you being a messenger of joy, okay? The joy of astonishing whatever. The word astonish starts with the joy of a toast plus 50 joy, okay? Joy beckoneth. The word beckon equals joy in this perfect letter for letter construct of joy, perfect symmetry. And that reminds me of the word beacon, the joy of a beacon, okay? A light beacon. And we as the believers are beacon.